the graph of y is equal to p cos qx plus r for x being between minus four, 5 and 14 is shown below. So here we got a graph. We know there's a minimum point at 0 minus 3 and a maximum at 4, 7. It says find the value of p, q and r. Now it's possible to do this without a graphics calculator even though this is a paper 2 type question. Now what you really need to do is to work this in reverse. Find First find r, then find q, and then find p. So here, here we do. To find r is we need to find the vertical translation of the cos graph by looking at the y coordinate of the max and min points. What I'm trying to find is where is this line, where is the axis of symmetry on this graph, okay? And to do that, if I take the y coordinate, so it's 7 and minus 3, and we add them together and divide by 2, I'm going to get 4 over 2, which is 2. Now, if I draw the line y is equal to 2, we can see that is an axis of symmetry for this graph. I, that, that's half, and, that, and that's below half, half, equal, equal distance. And that means that the value of r is actually plus 2. So r is 2. Right, we also know the period of a graph is 2 pi over q. Okay, normally it's b, but this time it's written as q. So the period of a, of a cosine graph is 2 pi divided by q. Right, what is the period of this graph? Well, if we look between a uh, maximum and maximum point, we know between the difference between the x coordinate from here to here is 4. Therefore, the difference between the uh, maximums, the period, will be 2 times that, which is 8. And therefore, 8 will be equal to 2 pi divided by q. And then rearranging that, q is 2 pi divided by 8. 2 pi divided by 8 is pi by 4. Right, now if we write our function out, we've got that y is equal to p, but we don't know yet, cos of pi by 4x plus 2. But we've got two points on the curve, we just need to take one of them. Let's take the top one because it's all, all positive. At x is equal to 4, y is 7. So we put 7 in here and 4 in here to see what happens. So we're going to get 7 is equal to p cos pi by 4 times 4 plus 2. To get rid of the plus 2, we're going to subtract 2 from both sides. So we're going to have that 5 is equal to p. Now, cos pi by 4 times 4 is cos of pi. What is the cos of pi? Well, if, if we draw uh, the graph of cos just in there, OK, and you should know the graph of cos, you'll see up pi, cos is about minus 1. So instead of cos pi, we'll now put in here minus 1. And then for p must be equal to minus 5. So that's sure the amplitude is actually negative. Now we can actually check this because this is actually a paper 2 type question. So if we go to our GDC and go to a graphing mode and we set the axis up from, let's just go back on one of ourselves, we wanted to go from minus 5 to 14. So the first thing we do is go to menu, window zoom. Windows settings from minus five to fourteen. We don't don't worry about the um, uh, y ones just yet, and put in our function, which is minus sorry minus five times trig cos of uh, pi by four pi divided by four. Uh, times x plus 2 okay and now if we do a menu window zoom and zoom fit there's our graph does it look like the one in, given in the uh, question just quick look back yes it seems to look okay so let's just um, verify a little bit more uh, let's go for the maximum point so menu analyze the graph maximum, go to the left and go to the right, oh lo and behold we've got 4, 7, that's correct let's go for that minimum as well so uh, analyse the graph and minimum and go to the left and to the right, ok we've put f minus 4.6 you have to take that as 0 yeah? minus 3 ok, you have to take that as 0 because it's very 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 small Okay, so we seem to have got that correct. So, the answers are...
you know, in, in the right order. Of course, P is equal to minus 5, Q is pi by 4, and R is equal to 2, but it's better to do it in reverse. I hope this video is useful, and I thank you very much for watching.